guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on how I apply my sunless tanning lotion. The reason why I chose this video is because I know that there's a lot of you out there who are not confident enough in wearing sunless tanning lotion. Now, that is super understandable because, yeah, sometimes if you don't know how to apply it, you can turn orange. Like me, two weeks ago I bought a new kind of tanning lotion, kind of getting out of my comfort zone and uh, it was an aerosol one that you spray and I was orange the next day. My feet were completely dark brown and my elbows, everything was brown. It's like, there's no way, I just paid that much money. Okay, I, not that much money because I went to the drugstore, but I paid all that money and I was orange. I was like, there's no way, this is like, it says online that it's an awesome kind. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna scrub this all off, I'm gonna start all over again. And I didn't realize that with my other tanning lotions that I was wearing, I was always applying a little bit of lotion in with it, and I thought maybe this kind was different, that I didn't have to do that. But with this kind that I was using, um, I finally figured out how to work it, and I'm really excited about it, and I wanted to show you guys and talk with you guys on how you guys can apply it. I'm not gonna do it today because I did it yesterday and I should have filmed it, but last night I was asleep and I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to post a video on how I apply this because this stuff is amazing. Like I woke up this morning and it was a completely beautiful, natural tan and I've actually never had that before. I mean, I have, but I felt like I felt like I had to gradually get it. With this, I felt like I got it overnight and that was kind of awesome. So if you guys want to know how I apply my sunless tanning lotion, then please keep watching. Alright, like I said, I have been wearing tanning lotion for quite some time and I'm sure a lot of you guys know that exfoliating is something that you should do before you put on tanning lotion. And what I do before I exfoliate is I make sure that I shave my legs. I mean, that's a personal preference. I just feel like the tanning lotion ends up sinking in a whole lot better and without all those long hairs in the way, it's a lot easier to apply. And what I use when I exfoliate, there are a couple options that I do. One of the options that I use is the Sweet Pea Golden Sugar Scrub by Bath & Body Works. I mean, this works awesome, but I have one con about it, and that is that it makes my hands feel really weird afterwards, and I don't know why, but they feel like it all day long, so I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm like weird with weird feelings on my hands. <laughs> I don't really, I mean, I use that, but and I love it because it smells super awesome, but besides that, I also use from Trader Joe's. I use coconut oil and I mix it in with some sugar. That is my love. I love coconut oil so much. I use it in my hair, I put it on my eyelashes, I do everything with it. But I use this in the shower and I mix it with like a tablespoon of sugar. And that works really well. So do that in the shower and make sure you shave your legs. That's just a personal preference, but I do shave my legs. And then afterwards, People say that you should apply moisturizer on your body after you have taken a shower, but another thing with that, I have a personal preference with not doing that because you're going to be moisturizing your body anyways with tanning lotion. The tanning lotion that I'm going to be showing you today is one that I've only been using for a couple weeks. I used this one time two weeks ago and it didn't work out very well. It did turn my body orange, but I thought I'd give it a second chance and I mixed it with some Sweet Pea Ultra Shea Body Butter by Bath & Body Works. I love Sweet Pea. If you can't already tell, my husband knows me and he bought me a whole bunch of Sweet Pea stuff for Christmas. But I mix that with the L'Oreal Paris New Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Mist. And I got the color Deep Natural Tan. And it's got a 360 degree wide angle applicator. And so what I do is I apply this all over my arms. I start with my arms and also when you're in the shower, try and shave your arms. I mean, that's another personal preference. I like to have a hairless body. So I apply this on my arms and my shoulders and my chest and my neck. And then right after I apply it, I go in and I grab like two fingers worth and I just rub in and make sure that it's um, super even over my entire upper half of my body and then I just continue and go all the way down 
to my feet. And I make sure that at the end when I'm done with that, I try and rub off my elbows and my knees and right here in my armpit because right here gets really matted. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you've ever gone tanning, you know what I mean. It gets darker right here and it kind of looks gross. So I make sure that I kind of wipe it off with a wet washcloth afterwards. And then with my hands, I try not to tan my hands, but what I did yesterday was I sprayed them with the aerosol and then I grabbed the body butter and I just kind of rubbed it all over the top of my hands and I just rubbed my hands together and it turned out pretty even I mean there might be a, like a tiny bit of a line but you know what when you go tanning that kind of happens but other than that my body turned out really really even I mean I don't know if you can tell by my arms but I got really really good I'm so happy about it it turned out really good and I'm excited to use it again I think that it works for three or four times and I'll put it in the description box below and I'll let you guys know where you can buy it and how much it is and I hope that you guys realize that I mean self tanning doesn't make you orange I mean do I look orange to you I don't think I look orange I mean unless I am like looking at the wrong person in the mirror I feel like I don't look super orange I feel like my skin color is natural I mean I'm pretty white and I did use the darkest color in here, but I don't feel like I turned out super dark, so that's why I'm gonna be trying it again in the next few days. You are supposed to be apply it like two to three times a week just so that you can keep maintaining that color. And I'm sorry I didn't post a video on how I apply it. I just kind of explained it. Maybe in the next few days I'll upload a video on how I do it. You guys can see how I really apply it and that will be besides the video that I'll be posting on Friday. But I definitely think you guys should go out and try using sunless tanning lotion because it is so fun and I mean it's just up to you. I am one that loves to look tan. I hate looking super pasty white even though I pretty much do right now but I do love looking tan and I definitely recommend this L'Oreal Paris because <clears throat> I have been using the Banana Boat cheap it's like eight dollars at Walmart the banana boat in dark and I've been using that since like my sophomore year in high school and I haven't really like branched out so I tried this and I do love it and I do give it a super big thumbs up and I hope you maybe go out and try it it's super cheap you don't have to go out and buy a super expensive tanning lotion but don't forget to rub it in with some lotion I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and I'll be posting a video on Friday. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I love you all.